Hey everyone, a few weeks ago I fell off my enduro bike and injured my thumb so I can't ride for another few weeks so today I decided to spray paint my dirt jump bike so I just went to Halfords and bought some cool colours I bought this cool pink and then blue and yellow so first I need to strip it down second I need to sand it and then I need to spray paint it different colours, different bits so I hope you're excited to see this Right, so I first need to strip the bike down. Mike already helped me to take the wheels off and the chain because he's stronger than me. And now I'm going to start with the, with the cranks. Right, and I will show you what I've done to the chain ring. Last time I cased something, probably in a skate park or I don't know where, when. Oh, sorry, the other way. Can you see it on the camera? It's bent. <laughs> Ooh, it's out. I'm impressed I didn't drop anything. <laughs> it's only one piece. Done. So as I was taking it to bits, I realized I need new bearings because that's absolutely jiggered. <laughs> and now I just need to take the stickers off and sand it. So I stripped the bike, sanded it, uh, mass taped all these bits and I left these bearings in because they're going to come out anyway. And now it's time for the primer. If you can guess which colour I'm going to paint the frame, just put in the comments now. I got a couple of coats on. I've never done it before as you can see so there's a few places where I've done like um, there's more white and I can see the frame so I need to do more coats because I'm just useless and those few bucks come in and sat through my paint I told them off and I think that's everything now I just need to keep going with this so it's primed and dry and now it's time to put some colour on it I got yellow So Mike was keeping an eye on me all day and telling me what to do and then as soon as he left for five minutes I messed it up and then I he basically ended up sanding it again with like really fine sandpaper and then like I used water as well to make it even more fine and then I had to wash it all and now it's dry in the garage and I'll have to do it again tomorrow. Oops. 
So frame and forks are painted. I let it dry in the garage for a few days, so that's all done. I put new bottom bracket bearings in. That's all new. And I put some cool sticker on. And now I just have to put it back together. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Here we go. Ta-da! bit, this bit, we'll go to the front, oh my god, oh, she's on, quite excited to ride this, and then got my bars, Top cap. Ta da! New cranks. So that covers the bearings. There's a bit, little space there. Here we go. Might need to ask Mike. Mike? It's alright. The other side. Big spacer. Little washer. Look at that. <laughs> right, next, rear wheel. <laughs> Ta da! Front wheel. waiting for new ones to put on so it's matching a bit that's the next thing but for now I'm just put, gonna put the old ones on Ta-da! Done! So it's all done. It took way longer than I thought it will be and it was much harder than I thought it will be. So I learned a lot. I hope you liked it. Let me know in the comments what you think and subscribe to my channel, like it and tell me what you think. Bye!